Okay, so welcome back, Mudgy Beard the one here. This is my sixth time making this intro, and I'm just gonna keep on going with the flow. So if it's messed up, then it's messed up. So I'm gonna be doing a cleaning of all of my animal hitches in one video, as you guys, excuse me. I'm not gonna cut that out. As you guys know, um, I was gonna upload my cleaning out my hamster cage and my hedgehog cage on my channel, but I figured this channel needs more diversity, so that's why I'm doing so. Also, I got a new job, and actually it wouldn't even, affect my uploading schedule because I don't work on the weekends but you guys that job is really stressful because there's no air conditioner in there my partner doesn't speak English he catches attitudes and his breath stinks and so I'm just ready to quit also I get my new births on Tuesday so I probably won't go to work on Tuesday and if I get fired then that's fine because I don't like the job anyways so hope you guys enjoyed this cleaning all of my animal cages in one video and yeah okay we're going to start with this cage first and this is what it looks like after one whole week yes disgusting i know but i've seen worse so maybe i do need to do it twice a week because once a week this kind of does look disgusting so with nine birds in the cage that is what you'll get and most of these birds are already out the cage let me back up so they can fly out Come on out, girls and boys. Well, it's just girls. No, it's one boy in there. Come on out. Maybe I'll have to force them out. You guys are getting evicted now, so come on out. Oh, my God. Okay, and you come out too, Opal. Come on. Okay, come out the bottom part. Okay, they're all that freak, Opal. Come on out, Opal. Okay, they're all out. <sighs> How did one get poop on my hands? I don't even recall this. I don't even remember touching one of you guys. What the freak? Hold up, I'll be back. Okay, it's time to get off the cage because I gotta clean it. Come on. What the freak? Okay, so the only thing I really hate about them sitting up here is that they chew my walls up. Look, they're just chewing my walls up. So they're gonna have to go somewhere else. 11 minutes later. Okay, so if this view is wobbly, it's because I'm not holding the camera. But I usually just get a credit card or any card like this and I just scrape it off scrape all the extra poop and then I just dump it right here where the grass is growing and then I take the water hose and I spray the extra poop off It's done, guys. Clean all the way through. Okay, guys, now it's time to clean out my hamster cage. Come on, Nips. Nips is not the type of hamster that'll turn around and bite you when he's asleep. When you wake him up, when you wake him up, he'll just wake up. So that's Nips. I'm just going to sit him in here until I'm done with his cage.
Hopefully he cannot get out. Oh my god, what if he gets out? Okay, let me do this really fast. <laughs> Whew, I'm nervous. So, I'm just going to dump all of his excess food back into there, and I'm just going to throw it away. Um, I tend not to clean out his house because he has food in there. And I don't want to waste too much food, so I'm just going to close up his house and take that out as well. I'm going to keep his wheel in there because it's a little dirty. But I am going to take out his water bottle. So, yeah. Oh my god, he is so cute. What the freak. Oh no, you're eating a bird feather. Here, hold up. Come here. I thought you were printing yourself. Hold up, no, 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 no. No. Okay, now it's time to get to cleaning. So his cage and the hedgehog cage is going to be the easiest because I'm just going to pour the dirty bedding into a plastic bag. Then if it's still some stuff, I'll just spray it with the water hose and that usually does the trick. Next, I have Maggie's cage. I'm sorry for talking too loud. Next, we have Maggie's cage. And you can see. Barely. Well, I thought you could see, but there's poop in here. And no, no, no. Don't drink that. It's stuff in there. Actually, you can drink it. It's at the bottom. Go ahead. Actually, no, I'm just going to give you clean water. I'm sorry. So with the hedgehog cage, it's different. I would not recommend cleaning it out once a week. I would re recommend at least every three days or two days because they poop. And I never knew this, but they poop look like uh, little miniature dog dookies. So, and they sometimes do stink. So... You want to make sure that that is clean because, especially if you have a small enclosure like this. Yeah, I still need to get her a cage. Um, then you want to clean that out and she's drinking her dirty water again. Um, and she eats a lot now. Before she barely ate, probably because I got her new food and she likes it. The smell is very appetizing, even for me. I want to take a bite sometimes. So, yeah, we're going to take her out now and we're going to put her somewhere so I can clean out this cage because this is a mess. And you ate all your food. When you try to pour it, but it don't succeed. <laughs> This is the part where I decided to let her out the cage because she was a little bored so I wanted her to have a little adventure before she went back into her cage. So yeah. <laughs> This is the part out of nowhere where this girl finds dog poop. Oh no! Well you guys, the hedgehog cage is clean. And she's just eating because that's what she does all day. Besides sleeping. And running on the wheel. 
I forgot to add my shirt in the corner because that's where she likes to sleep. Okay, I don't know if he thinks I'm a predator and then stop moving or if he just sleeps like this. Um, ooh, raisins, don't mind if I do. It's like, <laughs> hi. Hi. You ready to go back into your cage? I'm about to clean it up nice and good for you. Okay. Okay. Those are not raisin. Okay. You already know what they are because you made them. <laughs> oh, little nips. I really love nips. Okay. Time to fix up his cage. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to let you out now. <laughs> Come on. Time for your new cage. Well, same cage. New stuff. Yep, that's all you, buddy. Oh, my God. My little nips. Not only is having a clean water dish important, but also having a clean food dish is important because you don't want them to be drinking poop and you don't want them to be eating their poop. So now it's time to get the birds. Okay guys, so we're back in and they've all gotten in the cage and that's the end of this video. So if you guys enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.